Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to create your own custom levels for OVO and how to play other people's custom levels. Uh, it's very exciting, it was only discovered how to do this recently, uh, so let's just get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is download the latest version of the OVO level editor project, uh, Construct 3 file. Um, these are updated and made by Skyman and posted on the Discord, so be sure to stay tuned for the new versions of this, but the one I'll have linked in the description is good enough. So uh, download it, and then you'll want to go to editor.construct.net to pull up the construct level editor. And then once you're here, right here where it says file, you'll want to drag in the OVO level editor project file that you just downloaded into where it says file. So now that you're here, uh, you'll be presented with this big wall of text here, and um, you don't need to worry about any of this just yet. Um, like where, where it says do not edit anything below this point, just don't edit anything below this point. Um, but you'll see up in this layout here, you'll have level editor as one of the tabs. And this is the actual level editor that you're going to use to make your level. And um, some basic controls here, uh, you can hold control and scroll wheel to zoom in and out, and then hold middle click and move your mouse to pan, and then um, you can click on things, and you can also click and drag to select things. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, delete all of that because that's like the default stuff that's in there. Um, and then you'll see uh, over in this project tab here, these are all of the objects that you have to use. It's not all of the objects in OVO, like there's no buttons and there's no portals and there's no moving objects, but uh, those will probably be added in the future. But right, this, this is just like some basic stuff you can um, so, let's go ahead and make your level. You can add these things by dragging them out of here, and then where the player is, that's where you'll, you'll spawn. So, uh, and one more thing, if you want to change the size of your level, then just click on anything, deselect, and then you'll see here over on layout, level editor size, right here, and then you can set these values whatever you want, like there. And um, let's go ahead and draft out your level here. Um, a trick that you can do is you can hold control and click on an object and it will automatically duplicate it. So this makes it really easy to just make a ton of spikes here, see? Just hold control and then click and drag. And then you can also do this with a bunch of selected things. Um, you can also scale them. You can uh, rotate them too. And when you're rotating objects, you can hold shift to lock it to a specific um, like angle thing, whatever. Um, and this makes it easy to get uh, right angles here. Like if you just want to rotate it 90 degrees to put it on a wall or something. And uh, you can also rotate the walls. And if you want to fine tune the transformations of objects, then you can go over here and then you can specify its position, uh, its size, angle, whatever you want, opacity, make it invisible. So if you want to playtest your level, which I highly recommend you do, then all you have to do is click this preview button up here, little arrow, and it will bring up a window here that's OVO, and it will be your level. And what it should do is as soon as OVO loads, it should take you to your level. And uh, it might take a while, and it might just not load at all, weird, but just like wait a little bit.
Alright, there. It finally loaded after uh, a bit of time there, but see, now you're in your level. It's a little preview, and uh, there. Not much in here, but obviously you could go crazy with this and make whatever you want. Um, yeah, be sure to play test. So once you've got your level looking the way you want it to, and you've tested it and everything looks good, then you can start um, making it a bit more polished so it's ready to be exported. So the first thing you're going to want to do is put one of these um, layout name holders into your level, and it looks like a big one, but uh, when the level is played it will display the name and the level number. Speaking of which, uh, this is when you're going to want to go to the level editor, the red one tab here, uh, that you started at, and then you can change these variables here. So level name, call it, uh, whatever you want, an initial value here, I'm going to call mine test level, and then level number, change the initial value, uh, whatever you want. And then, when you're ready to export, change this export boolean to true for the initial value. And then this copy output uh, basically makes it so that your level is copied to your clipboard, but I don't like doing this, I just like downloading it with this one. So it's really just whatever format you want. I'm going to set this to false. So, once you've got all of this set up and you're ready to export, your level is looking good, then click the preview button once again, and then this time instead of loading your level, see down here, it will download testlevel.json. Uh, it, it won't be called testlevel.json if yours is called something else, but it will be a level name.json, and this is the level file that I exported. So once you've got your level downloaded, you can put it into the game pretty easily. Um, but you have to be on a specific OVO version called Crash Test, and you'll see the URL is up here. I'll also put it in the description. Uh, it's slash game slash OVO slash Crash Test, capital C, capital T. And then uh, put your downloads, and you should have the level you downloaded. Mine's testlevel.json because like mine was named testlevel, but if yours is named something else then it would be your level name.json. And then all you have to do to play the level is drag and drop into the game. And here we have it in all of its glory. Just like it was part of the real game. Very nice. And the process is the same if you want to play other people's levels. Um, so, here at my Discord here, we have a channel here where people can post their levels. So, we'll just take one of these as an exam example. Um, share this one. And then you'll download the level, .json and just drag and drop onto the screen and it will load, just like that. So it's really easy to make your own levels and play other people's levels, so um, I recommend... <laughs> oh, I kind of fell there, but uh, you get the idea. You can just go crazy with this, make all sorts of cool levels. I know lots of people have made some pretty cool levels and um, it's really cool. Be sure to uh, like and subscribe, please.